close by. So you do get a couple of quests to start you off on getting the mount, uh, and the first one is where you eat a guy's dead mount, and then he gives you the dead mount saddle, <laughs> and you take it back to one of the cities where his brother is like a stable hand there, and um, he gives you another quest about how to raise the cubs. And, uh, let's go ahead and dismiss my guy here. And so you get to choose one for the, choose one of the cups for the, uh, quest to raise, and then it becomes your mount. Um, if you find that you decide that you like a different mount better, you can actually go through and buy one of the other mounts, so... Uh, the, mounts the mounts are actually, actually fairly cheap, or I should say the cubs are fairly cheap to buy. Uh, so, just show you guys. So this is in Cloud Grain in Viren, and uh, it's at the stable there. And so you just click on the, the cub, and uh, it'll bring up 10 silver. So you can buy the cub for 10 silver. Which is kind of funny, because the cubs are so cute, you might just want to keep one in your pack for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Alright, so it's not as simple as you have a cub and then it turns into a mount. It doesn't work that way. So then what happens is you have to have what's called a vita seed that you grow into a vita root. So now you're talking about a little bit of complexity. So let's see if I can find the uh, seed vendor who's near here. Close. I really wish you could zoom in better on the map. It's kind of looking around. Here we go. Seed, seed merchant. And she still speaks Korean. So you can grow all kinds of things in this game. I, I think that's one of the fun areas of the game that, that'll be really neat to explore. Uh, but so what you need for the mount is this Vita seed. Go ahead and pick up a couple there, I guess. All right, and now that you have a seed, you need a public farm. And I'm not sure if there are public farms around here. Might have to go over to Falcon Forth for that. Let's see if we can find a farm. Surely there's a farm here somewhere. Oh, maybe over here? Maybe? Maybe? Mm, no. No. Alright, I'm not gonna waste you guys' time looking around for a nearby farm. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, looks like uh, you do get charged hereafter stones, so maybe you start with a certain number of hereafter stones and then, uh, and then no more. So, let's see if we can run over to uh, Oxen Clan really quick.
It is a fairly big world, so you can spend a lot of time traveling around. Here's an iron vein. So one of the things that I do like about Archage is, uh, so all the different kind of crafting and gathering professions. Um, you don't have to have a pickaxe in order to mine. You don't have to pick up the mining profession in order to mine. You just see an iron node and you mine it. And then you get a little graphic as if, you know, you actually did have a real pickaxe. Uh, but one of the things that it does is it costs uh, labor points. So it cost me 10 labor points to mine that node. And so the you get labor points for every minute that you're active online. So you get five labor points in five minutes. So it's one per minute. Just got to be a farm around here. Yeah, here we go. There's some scarecrows. That looks promising. All right. Let's see if we can grow this here. So I planted our little seed there, and you essentially just wait roughly 20 seconds for it to mature, and then you harvest it. So now we've got our vita root, which is what we need in order to make our cub grow up and turn into a mount. Go back over to Cloud Grain. In order to do this, we have to be in a public stable. a little bit of fall damage even on that really uh, low jump there. So you do have to be careful about uh, heights while mounted. And even for yourself, uh, you take if, if you're not mounted and you take fall damage like that, you'll die instead of your mount. Alright, so this is the public stable. Let's see, the snow main, sand main. I'll actually pull up the sand main. I actually don't have one of those uh, mounts grown up yet. So he's these super cute little cub. So you start off by playing with them. And then he's all sad, and this is where you feed him the Vita root that you grew. And that makes him happy. So then you wait a little bit of time. Oh, water. 
Let's get some water really quick here. <laughs> That's a good reason to uh, <laughs> also put him near the well. So we fed him and we watered him and now he's going to turn into a mount. Sand rain mounts. And then that goes into your uh, inventory here. And so there's three for the fair and starting off. There's the coal main, the uh, snow main, and uh, sand. The sand is mainly just brown. The coal mane is black with red spots and red tipped ears. I think they look the most intimidating for things like PvP. That's the one that I'm currently using. And then the uh, snow mane is sort of this uh, white gray color. But so you do want to, when you decide which uh, mount you want, you do want to be fairly consistent with it. As I sort of mentioned earlier, again, um, the mounts level up uh, with you, but only for when you have them out. Uh, so that if you were on different mounts, they would not level proportionally as you level. So my coal main here I've been using almost exclusively, so he is uh, level 13 while I'm 14. The other thing, uh, the other reason to be sort of consistent with your mounts is that they get gear. I'm not sure if you can swap out the gear once you equip it on them. You probably can. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, so the pets also get gear, um, which improves their stats. So there can be a helm, a saddle, and so far what my quests have given me are the leg guards, which increases movement speed by 5%. Alright guys, so I've played with the uh, souls and the abilities, and so there's all kinds of different combinations that you can come up with. Uh, again, you don't have to follow any sort of particular chain. You can pick and choose abilities uh, within a soul, uh, but the catch is that you have to level each soul independently uh, through use. So while my main spec is warrior, uh, which is level 13 proportional to my actual level, uh, things, souls that I actually haven't been using all that much or have been using for sort of off-spec kind of things. So they're still like level 10. And the base that it, default that the, each one of the souls starts at is level 10.